just re released a video today that Vasily yeah. deadlift 760? Yeah, I think so. And people want to know why he isn't snapping his biceps when he deadlifts like that. Uh, one, he's strong. Two, snapping something's, you know, kind of genetic. Three, he's literally world class. He's the best, one of the best weightlifters in the entire planet. Um, he's got a lot of muscle. His best pull, I think he said, was 780. Uh, but I assume it was just as fast as that. Based off that speed, probably has 800 in him pretty good. Uh, you know, he clean and jerks. 500 something pounds, snatches uh, 400 something pounds. So obviously has hook grip, so the bicep's a little less exposed in the hook grip, double over, but he's still fucking cranking on that thing. He's jacked. He's jacked is the answer, right? Anything can happen, sure. Hopefully it doesn't. I think he was wrapped his knees. There was a comment on that also. One, I think because he's a weightlifter and he's used to it. Two, I think he had some quad issues, uh, maybe micro tears or real tears. Don't quote me. Um, so yeah, injuries happen, but he's a fucking beast, that's all. Highlighting a couple different things uh, by my man here, Vasily, on how he pulls not only his form, uh, how I often talk about the main issue I see with power lifters is squatting the weight up and not hip hinging or deadlifting the weight up, but also in between different sports. Um, obviously, his sole focus, not only in his sport, but his life, uh, was to be a world champion or go to the uh, Olympics, whatever it might have been for weightlifting. Excuse me, I did say that he went to the Olympics. I don't think he did, but I believe he went to Worlds multiple times. Point being, he's an international level weightlifter, very, very high, the top level weightlifter. And how he pulls is specific to his sport. So this is 760. Obviously, their goal is to build general strength for their lifts by squatting, front squatting, pulling. You can see a little bit rounded back. You could see probably not as much tension in the hamstrings or glutes as I would like to see as a power lifter. But again, that is not his goal. His goal is to get his quads involved. And as a weightlifter, the little bit I've learned from watching over the years, I am a fan of weightlifting and also from uh, doing it myself uh, for those six months that I did last year is that when you're pulling, the main difference is obviously the tension isn't as important, where I always talk about if you have tension in your hamstrings and glutes, weight behind the barbell, that when you pull, your knees and hips will move simultaneous. Your hips will begin moving upwards uh, right away. They'll hinge with your knees. And if that's not the case, you don't have tension in your hamstrings and glutes, and your body weight's over the bar, your knees lock out first, your hips shoot up too early, and then your body weight throws yourself in front of the bar on a deadlift, which is maximal effort, the most amount of weight one can lift, you will get tipped forward and miss that weight. You'll miss that load. Whereas every weightlifter, when they're going for a clean, it is less poundage, less weight than they can actually pull or deadlift. So when you're cleaning, you're trying to get that bar path. You're getting your knees out of the way. Your body weight's purposely in front of the bar. So then you can triple extend, which means locking your knees, hips, and ankles to get momentum to jump with the barbell in your hand and then recover to get underneath the barbell and the snatch and clean. So those are the main differences where he doesn't really care where he sits. He's building his pull to clean. He's not building his deadlift. He's not building his hamstrings. He's not building his back necessarily in that movement. He's trying to pull on heavier and heavier weights so that his clean gets better, especially his first pull. And also that he's more comfortable with those heavier weights in his hand. Just finishing up the workout myself, I've talked to you guys a little bit about programming right now. It is based on the Kaizen off-season 
Infinite Offseason, which is a free program. All my programming and coaching and all that is always in the link below, kaizentraining.com, if you're interested, because I still get constant questions if I do coaching. I don't do one-on-one, but I have many free templates if you want to check them out. And because I know myself so well and because I feel very comfortable with programming in general, I've adapted what I've made a template for all of you to help myself uh, get to where I want to go during this aggressive cut. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I am in an aggressive cut right now. I'm trying not to worry about the pounds that I lift as I'm still kind of recovering from the back and I can't handle the volume I want. So I'm purely trying to drop down to about 200 pounds or below, feel as good as I can, uh, as lean as I can mentally and physically, not only with the back, but again, diet-wise. So this would be uh, basically day two in my infinite off-season, which is mostly an upper body day. I'm doing lunges, one, because I want more volume for my legs because I can't squat and deadlift the volume I want uh, right now with my back. And then number two, uh, because lunges or a unilateral movement is something that I've done on and off throughout my entire career. I don't think necessarily they help my squat, which is what people are always asking. But for me personally, it is something that allows me to stay healthy. That unilateral movement or the lunge itself stretches your back hip flexor a little bit. Uh, It uses my glutes and hands and it also works some stability factors where that one front leg is uh, handling a lot of the load by itself for a while and you'll have to stabilize it through your hip and your knee uh, to stay obviously having your knees traction and not just fall over. Uh, Whereas if all you do is squat and all I do is work or sit on a desk, uh, I've gained imbalances, uh, especially there, but in the sumo pull as well. So I'm trying to stay as healthy as I can. I'm on the third week of a more aggressive cut. Uh, so follow me, Silent Mike with two Ks on Instagram. I appreciate all your guys' support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Head down, chin up, be sure to subscribe, smash the thumbs up. Appreciate you guys.